Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your merry murder maniac for the evening, and it is time for the next bonus episode of my Dishonored Let's Play, the High Chaos playthrough. Uh, so, picking up where we left off, which is at the end of the previous mission, it's time to go jump in a boat. Ready to go. Just give the signal. Yep, time to do some killing. Any other pearls of wisdom? No? Okay, well fuck you then. Because we're awful Corvo. Horrible Corvo. Bastardous Corvo, even. I don't need to read that, I don't need to read any of this. So, yeah, um... One of the things... about... playing Murder Corvo... is that you get to make your very own contributions to these extremely... extremely full corpse barges. What they wouldn't even notice. I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Hmm. Not Can I not jump up there? I ah, there we go. Myself. Keep working. So, well, I think no I'm more. probably not going to murder yes, civilians, although I will rob them relentlessly. Uh, and maybe, you know, choke them out and put them in bins or whatever if I feel like it, because, um, really, the fun of playing High Chaos is just doing whatever the hell you like. Regardless of what other people feel about what you're doing. So, let's check what that bone charm is. Uh, I don't- do I want to buy any powers? I've got one rune, that's not enough to get anything good. Throw objects further. Hmm, that'll mess up my, uh, my instinct for how far I can throw these things, but it'll be fun to, uh, experiment on these dipshits. From the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. Yeah. Excuse me, officer, is this district... I'm not entirely sure that this response was justified. So, one of the downsides I'm having is, of course, that I have not played this for, like, over a week. Because, uh, yeah, my computer upgrade ended up taking far longer than it should have. I would have preferred to have not murdered all of these men immediately, because I wanted to play around with the uh, Wall of Light. Are there even any left alive, or did I just fucking slaughter all of them? Didn't equip myself amazingly, but that's fine too. I'll just have to draw the attention of those guys over there. Do I have any rewiring tools? No. Is there one in here? Maybe. It's a real joy to getting these guys to run through walls of light. It's uh, generally entertaining. I get attention. Okay. Disintegrating the blood off of my sword, I guess, or do these disintegrate physical objects too? How do they differentiate? It's a mystery. Granny! Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, um, if you get here fast enough, she will just demonstrate her witch powers to you, which is kind of funny. Given that as they sort of are ambiguous about it for a while before it actually does anything. Anyway, time to steal everything an old lady has because we're awful. Shut up. I don't care. Um, I mean, naturally it's in my interest to help an old lady, but... Be careful. You're on your way to fate. I don't care about you at all. Um, right. Granny, I'm sorry I was rude. I will help you with your problem. What was it? Men are harassing you? Okay, I'll go deal with them. Don't worry. This'll do. Have it your way. 
I have to see if this works with my only uh, spring razor. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Aha! I'm dry as an so these are supposed spray. to be landmines, but uh, if you know what you're doing, you She's can. Uh... For 80. What, what the... Well, I aimed it badly, but the point still stands. Come on, let's go. You need to be really careful with these guys because they can just fucking kill you. There is a reason why these guys breathe fire, and it's um to fuck you up, I guess. I think the little birdies are sad. Hey there, Granny. I uh I took care of your chores. Can I can I have my allowance now? It's nice to help out old ladies in your community. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't see to it, dear. Of course, anything you want, Granny. We'll get rid of those horrible ruffians and who've been ruining the local neighborhood and making trouble. Nobody saw that, okay? Bunch of crap. If I could get close enough to him, I could knock him into the wall of light I reprogrammed. I wonder if I can do that with... Assassin, help! How do they know I'm an assassin? I haven't done any assassinating yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Dipshit. willingly stepped backwards into it. The amount of trust these people have for their electric death gates is astonishing to me. Like, I don't even work in IT and I wouldn't trust these things with my fucking life. That said, I have just spent a week trying to fix my broken fucking computer. Anyway, um... Bouncing around like super fucking Mario. Oh, hey, look, it's about a bunch of idiots who died for stupid reasons. That was on purpose. Part of my roleplay as horrible bastard man Corvo Atano is that I'm just falling off everything forever. That's why he's so grumpy. Whoopsie daisy. Ah, oh, beans are broke both. Hmm. Cross the line and have your throat cut. Okay. Oh hey, he broke the window for me. That's convenient. This one's asleep. What can I do with an asleep guy? Hey, Griff, do you want this? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. I don't want to talk to you. You look like you sell racism door to door. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead counter. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. I mean, the really impressive thing is that I got the drop on this guy earlier. Yeah! For a second I thought that wouldn't kill him. <laughs> It's not your fault, it's just the fall of the dice. Oh hey, double whammy. Idiots. Morons. These people are so manipulable, it's- Ooh, a glitch! Oh, there's one left. <laughs> oh hey. That's lucky. I honestly thought the autosave would be a while back. I know you're somewhere around here. Bye. 
What a mess. Not, not one pocket to pick. I killed like 10 people here and none of them have any money. What's the point in murdering people if you don't get money for it? Says Corvo Atano, noted um, public sector assassin. He does seem to be kind of a, um, you know, public servant as far as murder is concerned. It's not like uh, the people at the ham pits are fucking paying him. In fact, they're making him pay for his own equipment. That seems kind of inefficient if your goal is to get uh, murder done. Everyone knows that the private sector is the best option for, uh, for assassinations. Um, I mean, I'm not in the favour of the private sector in any kind of position, really, but... Um, you know, if you if you do need someone dead, it's generally better to Wanna pay an assassin the I found? rather than to prices, I swear. find a, a man who was going to die, I guess, and make him an assassin instead. Uh, I didn't actually need that. I do need these. God, he charges so much money. You're um you're putting honest assassins out of work with your price gouging. I can't jump high enough. Right, what's left? Oh, I need to go do Granny's uh, Granny's job so that I can I can get more Granny treats. I can get more more candy and allowance to spend on more candy. I guess. Got to remember to steal the toilet elixir. It's kind of vital, actually. Hey, rats! Come here. I got a I got a job for you. Come on. Hey, did you know that a rat swarm can strip a man to the bone in seconds? Oh shit, there's like six of them. That's interesting. That doesn't normally happen. I say, having run through this area doing a lot of murders several times. Um, that's honestly peculiar. I wonder if they'll chase me all the way back to my nice convenient death wall. Come on. You're nearly there. Can't get me now. Now they shouldn't know that... Oh, they know they can't come through here because uh, they're not police. That's why. Okay, yeah, the city guard can go through, but these guys can't. Wow, oh, they're really depleting it pretty quick, huh? Can I? No, I can't. If I throw this, will it explode? Kind of a cavalcade of failure today to resurrect one of my old Dark Souls Let's Play terms. Um, ha! Finally! Here you are. You play in the kitchen. Sometimes you get burned. Are they? Are they cool now? No, they're not cool. Are you going to feed me to the rats, or, uh... Oh. Guys? Guys, come on. Thank you. Gonna feed you to the rats. I'm Corvo Atano, noted... Ah, oh, beans, I'm dead again. God, when was my last autosave? Griff? Aw. Well, let's see if we can get things to work a little bit better this time. Now that I think about it, I have a better use for this than rats. Cold as a whaler's calf hand. At least this guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. Not very efficient, but I am running low on time. Uh wait. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Maybe forgot the loot. This guy just didn't even fucking hear it. Ooh, 
Right, time to try this again. Rats, come on. Let's go, lads. Good job for you. Everyone knows that Corvo Atano can summon rat plagues out of his hands, like some kind of terrible, horrifying witch. Come on, let's get. Guys, I am disappointed by your performance. This will be reflected in your quarterly review. There we go. That's more like it. Was that so hard? I suddenly, having it having just occurred to me just now, I'm really enamoured of the idea of a Corvo Atano who doesn't use magic, but who still becomes uh, legendary in this world as this kind of, you know, horrible magical killer who summons rats and uh, does other terrible, terrible things. He, they say he can teleport, disappear through the shadows. No, he's just he's just quite sneaky. They say he can summon rats. No, he's just quite good at throwing bottles in such a way that people hear the bottles and go see what made the noise and there's also happens to be a rat swarm there. They say he they say he can throw people through the air. No, he's just strong, like. They say he can disintegrate people, turn them into ashes. No, you guys are just really bad at not stepping into your own electric death fields. Wait, did you push the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> These guys are a young couple. I'm not about to murder them. What are you so surprised about? You know? There's um, there's absolutely no downsides for them. There's absolutely nothing that's going to happen to these people. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't murder a young couple in the in the uh, first throes of their relationship as they as they get ready to get married. That would be terrible. Incidentally, this is information that you get if you listen to them, which you will know if you've watched the actual episode of this rather than this uh, silly murder time. Yeah, no, there's absolutely nothing that would. Um, there's absolutely nothing that would, would be a problem for them, you know, after this eventuality. Um, in case you don't get it, the joke is that I'm putting them, you know, into a drugged stupor in their employer's bed. Um, I don't want to kill them because that seems mean. 28-7, uh, time to rob this bitch. It seems mean to, to, to kill them, you know, they're just chilling, it's fine. However this way I get to role play. I get to think in my own brain that, you know, they might, uh... Yes, I still can't count and talk at the same time. Don't at me. Uh, you know, math is hard. Um... What the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, like, if I put them in, you know, I tuck them neatly into their, into their employer's bed in a drugged stupor. I'm sure he won't suspect that they've been fucking while he's out of the out of the office in his bed and doing his drugs that he keeps for his his science reasons. I'm sure that won't happen. I'm sure they won't both be summarily fired and wind up uh, on the street in this pandemic that's putting a lot of people on the street and people on the street are becoming, you know, weepers or otherwise dying of the plague and I'm playing the long game is what I'm getting at. Is that a... no, that's stuff. Oh, oh I... You know, I think I forgot to play this in the main Let's Play. The plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power? I genuinely don't remember if I talked about this in the main Let's Play. I think I did in my practice episode. And then actually didn't in the real thing. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting little point there. A little note about um, this, uh, this hint that this plague doesn't quite make sense. There's a, a letter somewhere about how uh, maybe that's when we come back here later, that we hear about how the uh, the plague rats appear to have 
Wow, cool though, you nasty. You're just picking, uh, picking up rat viscera with your bare hands. It's a good thing that uh, witches are immune to the plague, probably. Or maybe he just washes his hands before he has dinner, who knows. <laughs> I'm having a little bastard idea. Well, well, well. Looks like someone's been indulging in what I can only describe as lab rattery. Are there enough rats to kill that guy? I tried to shoot him in the knee, but I uh, I just shot rats. That's enough for him to survive pretty easily, I think. But what about the other rat swarm? Oh, they disappeared. Okay. You dodged. That's not. That's not allowed. You know what? You fought valiantly. You can get fired for engaging in a drugged orgy while on work hours. Um, instead of murdered, that's your reward. Also, uh, note that Galvani's been feeding these human meat. Where the fuck is he getting this from? Well, I mean, I guess he won't be short on it anymore, will he? I'd have to just saunter out the front door like nothing happened. Right then, time to go do some more terrible things. Except this time we're doing it to people who may or may not deserve it rather than people who probably don't actually well i mean the city watch might well deserve it let's be honest um which means the only person i've actually been shitty to was that woman i knocked out and put in a pile of dudes i'm probably just gonna edit my failed attempt to do anything in this area out um so i think the only real thing of note i said was that uh, unfortunately there's a lot of clever tricks you can do in this game uh, which I will not, in fact, be... Huh, what can I do with this? Uh, I will not be fucking about with simply because it's, uh... How much damage do these do? Oh, definitely enough to kill a man. Right, there's four guys here. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of tricks you can do if you know what you're doing with the system, like, um, shooting a crossbow bolt and then Freezing, ti oh, freezing time, firing a crossbow bolt, and then attaching a landmine to the frozen crossbow bolt, which is very entertaining because it essentially lets you throw a crossbow bolt really far, uh, throw a landmine incredibly far. I had more of like a stalking plan in mind for these guys, but um, this is fine too. Oh hey, that guy didn't die. Good for him. Someone's about to get shit off. Got this bastard up for the hag. Kicking it. This is gonna hurt. Did they throw? Did they throw booze at me? That's a waste of good booze. pretty cool. I wonder if it looked intentional. It absolutely wasn't. Uh, one of them threw one of their fucking bottles at me and uh, I shot it out of the air accidentally, which caused him to fucking explode. Ah, oh, yeah. Did you should penalise you if you say fucking? I've noticed a lot of uh, big creators have stopped swearing on YouTube. It would suck super bad if the uh, ongoing puritanization of... Um, Internet spaces took away people's ability to just... Wow, this guy is in bits. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this with me. This is my um, emotional support arse. I need it for emotional support. Uh, 
Ah, no, that's a load of rats. Uh, hmm, that's a load of rats, and I don't have any grenades left. Hmm. What's in there? It look oh, I want that rewire tool. Okay. What magics can I get? Do I have enough? I don't have enough for wind blast yet. How do I still only have three runes? No, I have two runes. I haven't spent them on anything. Where did they go? What? That, that can't be right, actually, right? I got one from Granny. There was one I picked up in the streets. And I started with one, so I should have three. I've missed one somewhere. I'll have to check that when I go back into the main zone. Uh, right, with a bit of luck, there'll be some kind of a grenade or something in here that I can make use of. In fact, I know where there is a grenade I can make use of. Oh, I forgot about my emotional support ass. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's going. He sneaks in. That did not you know work. Hey, Uh-oh. Just a matter of time, buddy. Damn it. What now? See something? Someone's about These guys are really short sighted, I assume, from all the whiskey what fumes. Was... What is up with that? Oh, I know what happened. We're gonna find your I know exactly what happened. When I picked up that ass, it said uh it, it said loot body. That's what happened. They have very specific patrol Someone patterns in this area, shit. and I have, in fact, messed them up a little bit. Oh right, these guys can, like, these guys can fuck me up, huh? These guys are actually way more dangerous than the cops, simply because even though the cops are, like... Some of the cops are pretty strong physical combatants, but these guys, uh... Ouch. Their ranged attacks are so much more effective. Um, by virtue of being explosions. Well, I've not covered myself with glory today, but I've definitely covered myself with several other gross substances. He did set off his own trap, but it didn't hit him, it hit me instead, which is uh, unfair, I think, in the grand scheme of things. I think if you if you are, um, if you do step on your own petard, it should hoist you, rather than me, someone else, an innocent bystander who happened to be nearby and didn't deserve to have a petard hoist me at all. Oh hey, that guy's still here. Boo. <laughs> If you were wondering what happens when you poison the still, it's, uh... Do I need to follow the instructions? No, I think I can just poison it. Yeah. Oh man, so many innocent bystanders are gonna get hurt from this. I love being terrible. And an interesting aside to this whole situation is- Holy shit, that was close! Oh boy, oh boy! Wowza, that was... that was something, huh? Uh, well, one, um, side effect to my... Man, what the fuck was I talking about? My heart is actually going, like... That gave me... that gave me some heart rate. <laughs> that was a narrow miss, as they say, and no mist... Uh oh. Everybody's... everybody's fine. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Nobody came through here and murdered every single person you've ever met. That would be a, an absurd thing for someone to do. Where are you? Oops. Oh, I'll find you. Well, I'm alright, it's fine. I had a nice soft landing. Hey. 
So more of these guys spawn in if you... I don't know if it's triggered by you poisoning the still or if it's triggered by you just fucking murdering everyone. Actually, I'm gonna... Come on, rats. You got work to do. Come on. Where are you? Where the fuck are you guys going in a hurry, huh? You got something to do? You got rat business? I guess they didn't need to worry about this before, huh? Anyway, uh, I don't know if it's triggered by you killing everybody or most people, or if it's triggered by um, poisoning the still, but more guys spawn in out here on your way out. Oh, I should check what I got. Better than nothing. But yeah, so it's kind of really funny to me that these guys never seem to um, comment on or question the fact that there's just a shitload of dead people. When you come back here, did I? I do not remember looting this. There's supposed to be a ton of stuff here. Maybe my memory is just that bad. There's one guy, where's his buddy? There's his buddy. Damn it, you're the uh, A lot of bravado for a man with a, such an easily cut throat. I gotta say, like, if my throat was that easily cuttable, I would not brag about how effective I was in, in you know, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um, but yeah, so I have killed everybody here. I have killed about 15 or 16 um, members of this crime syndicate. There is really no mention of um, these events at any other point. If you show up, Slackjaw's just like... On the right side of the tray, so we sacked her. Yeah, f stick it to the, the working man. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Thank you, Granny. I'm always happy to help help out an elder citizen. Um, it's it's our duty in these I trying times um, to do our, our social peel responsibility. So we can I'm a nice that man. Never <laughs> four out of seven runes found. That means I've found four in this zone, right? So why do I have three... Ah. Uh, I bought agility. I'm so dumb, guys. I'm so dumb. Holy shit. Uh, well, there is no more here at any rate. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Oh my god. What kill? Oh, right. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> Who else is running around killing people? Not that guy, that's for sure, because he's dead. You know, for a fraction of a second, I wasn't sure if I had... Uh, if that was the one I had um, rewired. I stepped into it, had a moment of panic, and then was fine. Right, uh, time to move on, I guess. Corvo Atano just being like, oh, oh, geez, you know, with all this killing I've been doing, I completely forgot about the killing I need to do. That's all from me. Catch you uh, next time for more of this, I guess. If you like this, you can also follow me on Twitter for updates, stream announcements, and one-tweet micro-reviews, or why not donate to me via Patreon or Ko-fi, or just share my work. Thank you so much for watching.